Alright, today I'm going to do a short little video on our new HandsVet DS22 wire EDM machine. And I'll give you a little overview of how it works and then I'll show uh, some parts being made on it. This is the front, the brains of the machine with the touch screen. And around back here, we have our water filters, our deionizing bottle, and over in the back there is our chiller. This is the control screen where we can vary any of the machining parameters, the pulse rate of the uh, wire, the amperage going through the wire, the percentage of on time of that pulse rate. We can control the peak amps and our servo speed, which is the speed that the wire proceeds through the part. And over here is a virtual rendition of the part we're making. And later on when the machine's running, I'll show you how that works. Over here is the, uh, the XY position of the wires that travel through the part, and also the total path length, the amount of path that's been cut, and the total path remaining. Now this is the business end of the machine and what you're seeing there is we have some, uh, today anyhow we have some 8 thousandths diameter uh, brass wire and it's showing the, the upper and the lower wire guides. The L-shaped piece is the, uh, the mounting platform for the blank and I'll show that later when I get a piece mounted in the machine and if you don't know about wire EDM what it does is it there's a charge going through that wire which as the wire moves through the part it works on an XY table and what happens is the wire actually spark erodes the piece as it goes through it's sort of like an electronic bandsaw and it cuts it with a great deal of precision and although it is uh, a little slower possibly than conventional milling. What you can do with this machine is you can stack blanks on top of each other and you can cut four, five, ten parts at once and so it actually makes it quicker. Okay, what I have now is I have my blank mounted and squared up into the machine and I have my wire thread through my start hole and this is the uh, this is our wire transport mechanism here. It's a, a feed spool and a take-up spool, and then it's uh, it's got a drive mechanism, so it pulls the wire through the part as it as it machines. And what I'm going to do here first is actually pick up the hole center of my starting hole, and there's a routine in the machine that's a uh, hole center. So what I'm going to do is run that and see if you can uh, see what occurs during that. I'm going to turn the machine on. Select the whole center. Now what's going to happen here, the wire is going to move forward and touch one side of the hole there. It touches off six times. And it comes back and it's going to go off to the adjacent side of the hole. Do the same thing. And then it'll come 180 degrees over and pick up the third point of the hole. And from those uh, set of coordinates, it'll determine the hole center and the program will be ready to start. So now I'm in the center of the hole, and the machine knows where it is, and I know where it is, and we can start running the program. Okay, this is a graphic representation of the hole that's going to be cut, and I'll come back to the screen in a minute, and you can see in real time virtually how the machine is cutting. Now, what I'm going to do here is, normally I wouldn't have this upper wire guide so high, but I'm going to try and show you what the machine does when it cuts. And actually, this hole has already been cut, but you'll be able to see uh, the actual sparks coming on, and you'll get a sort of an idea of how the machine. Is. 
I've turned the machine on and I have just a little bit of water running and in a couple minutes when the wire hits the edge of the hole there you'll be able to see the actual sparking take place. There it goes, it's starting now. Now this is what goes on normally when uh, you're machining a part. You can see these sparks created. And that sparking erodes the material as it works its way through the part. Okay, now the machine is all set for an actual cut. I've got the full flow of water going and uh, you can't really see the arcing, but uh, it's just a little representation of what the machine does when it runs. Now over here on the screen, if you can see this, That red dot is a representation of how the wire is proceeding through the part, and it's uh, it's pretty accurate. Whatever you see the wire doing on the screen is is what it's doing in in the part, and what it's doing at this point. There's a a square feature there that it's going to be cutting out, and that's the what the part's going to look like when we're done. And I've got all my different parameters set to work with the wire size and the material thickness we're using. And what I've got in the setup of the machine is three uh, 16th inch plates. They're uh, TIG welded together to keep them, you know, uniform. And when I'm done, I'll have three complete parts. Okay, this is the part after about an hour's worth of machine time, and all the inside features have been finished. And what we're going to do now is uh, re-thread the wire and cut out the outside profile and this part will be finished. Okay, the machine's uh, finished running and there we have the three complete parts. Total run time was about, uh, about an hour and a half for three parts, so that was pretty good.